guys, welcome to another one of our short videos. Um, so we're right in the middle of the COVID-19 close down and um, it's made it quite difficult for us to create any fresh new content because the workshop's been closed. Um, but more importantly than that, everybody's staying safe and I hope you guys are too. These are very, very difficult times. Um, so what we thought we could do is take you around our demo cars because that's something we haven't done before. Um, we've got four demo cars. We've got a BMW 4 Series, we've got a BMW X5, um, we've got a Defender and we've got a BMW E46. I can't take you around the 4 Series today because that's actually David's personal car and he's at home with his family where he should be. So I can take you around the others. So the first one is the BMW E46. So we love these. They're becoming a classic car now. Um, we picked this one up a couple of years ago and we haven't done a huge amount to it. just done a nice little high five. I'll show you the head unit. So in here we've used the Alpine ILX E46 702 I think it is. Now the nice thing about this radio is if you've done a bit of research into a double DIN conversion in one of these cars, you'll see that one of the things you have to do is cut the airbox behind because it's actually not a double DIN space, it's a single DIN space. The, the factory unit sits at the top and the airbox sits underneath. So we can do that. Um, to get a standard double din in there and we make some little bars up so that as you adjust the heater controls the flaps move inside diverting the air where they're supposed to go we reform the top of the air box so it's very neat but with this unit you don't have to do any of that it just literally drops straight in um, it's made by Alpine gives you Apple CarPlay Android Auto DAB radio Bluetooth USB all the stuff you'd want but the key thing about it is you don't have to cut the air box about at the top because it's a convertible we tend to put the microphone here this works really well and it means that you get virtually no road no or no wind noise with the roof down if you're making a telephone call. Um, it's a nice original example, this car, it's pretty low mileage, um, it's, it's very original, it's manual which seems to be the thing that, that people like. Um, the hi-fi system in here is primarily um, order some Voce front components, so I've got a six and a half inch woofer at the bottom, we've got a tweeter and a stock location. Stock location is not ideal in this car because it's a little bit far back, but again, for simplicity and keeping it original, we've gone into the stock location. As always, we've done a huge amount of work in this door in terms of soundproofing and acoustic work to make the speakers work properly. Um, the way we mount our woofer, we create an MDF baffle on the back there, which we can fix onto the back of the door card, and then we screw the speaker into the MDF baffle so it is 100% sealed. When we put the door card back on, as well as replacing the poppers, um, we also seal underneath here and around the front edge. That's something we do in every E46, it's just good practice. The amplification in this car is provided by a JL Audio Class D free channel. You can't see that because it's tucked away in the boot. But what you can see is the subwoofer on the back of the subwoofer. So bass is generated from a JL Audio 10, 10 inch T3 subwoofer. Now, technically it's not a free air subwoofer just before everybody jumps on it. We know it's not a free air subwoofer, but actually it happens to work really well in this car. And one of the nice things about it is, as you can see, we've lost no boot base space whatsoever. So it sits back where the Harman Kardon subwoofer would sit or where the ski sock would sit. So it's no boot space lost. And we haven't added all the weight of a subwoofer enclosure. Um, so it keeps it light, it keeps the space. Yes, it's not a free air subwoofer, so the base could be slightly better, but actually, if you come and hear this car, you'll be really, really impressed with the base. It's really extended, it's pretty tight. Um, it does what it needs to do and don't lose any space. So that was important for us. And, that, and we do lots and lots of these in this way. If it wasn't a convertible, if it is a coupe, then we would use the enclosed subwoofer, which just sits in a boot, takes up a very small amount of space. Um, but this is a great solution. And the other thing we've done in here is, the base will come through with the cover on, but obviously it's quite restricted. But by venting it through here, this is not a tuned port or anything like that. It's quite literally just a vent to allow the base to come through into the cabin. Um, without having to pop this out, because obviously it just pops in and out. So there you go. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure the audio system in this car is, is sub £2,000, so it's not an expensive upgrade at all. Um, plus, of course, the um, Navi unit at the front, or the Apple CarPlay unit at the front. So if you've got an E46, uh, you are maybe collecting it like this, um, fancy a bit of hi-fi, but want to keep it looking original, give us a shout, because we can do that. And we've got a demo car here if you want to have a listen to it first. Obviously, we'd expect you to do that before committing to a purchase. 
So there you go, that's the old E46. The second car, which I'll take you around, is the F15 X5. That's an M50D, so it's a nice pokey machine. And actually, uh, we use a G Power remap system on this, so yeah, it's about 460 horsepower and nearly 900 newton meters of torque, so it's a bit of a beast. In here, we've done our System 3 Plus, which is our most popular BMW upgrade now. Um, again, a huge amount of work done in the doors. These doors are really, really solid. We do have three layer soundproofing system, so the outer door, the back of the door card, and the whole of the frame has been soundproofed. Um, this is quite funky inside because it's a completely individual car. Um, so it's a little bit different in terms of its color and stitch and stuff, makes it nice. I'll hop around the other side and show you some of the features. So, we have kept the factory iDrive at the moment, um, and we have added a System 3 Plus. The System 3 Plus includes the front components, soundproofing of the door, the Audison Prima under seat subwoofers. It would now use a Hertz H8 DSP, um, but actually in this we're using the old Bit 10 d just because we haven't got round to changing it. Um, no other reason. Um, and we've coupled that with the DRC MP controller. Welcome to Stinger. As you can hear, the car has a Stinger VIP, so that's a state of the art. Uh, it detects speed cameras, um, average speed cameras. It also has the option of full fiber optic laser protection. This is detachable. And this is our float mount, which we talk about quite a lot. So a lot of cars would create this mount. It's sympathetically stuck in there. So there is no damage to the car whatsoever. And it's magnetic, it just clips on and off. Unfortunately, the battery's a little low at the moment. The second thing we have in this car is a Target Blue Eye, or in terms of driver protection. So this is a clever little bit of kit. What we've done in there is actually invert the display and flush it up there into the cluster. Now this is emergency service vehicle detection, so it'll actually warn you of approaching ambulances, fire engines, police cars, unmarked police cars, etc. And it just gives these little beeps to tell you that it's measuring the strength of Tetra radio. That's quite cool. Turn it back off again. We've got witness cameras in this car, so um, front and rear witness cameras, the Finkware. Um, 800 Q800 Pro, which is a lovely camera. They do do a U1000 now, slightly Goodbye. higher resolution, but I have to say, I, I, have, I really like that camera. I think it, cosmetically it looks super, the way the cables are, are in there very neat. The Q800 Pro is 2K resolution to the front and 1080p to the rear. It's got true parking mode, so when you park the car, it continues to record for a preset amount of time, and at the same time, protects the battery. So that's really important if you're a little bit paranoid like me. So I'd like my car protected when I'm not there. In terms of security, obviously it's got an S5 Plus. Um, it's also got, which is a tracking system, you know, and we, we've also got OBD locker, stuff like that on here. So it's um, pretty well secured. I'll take you around to the boot, show you what we've done in there. It's a three and a half year old install, so it's by no means um, fresh out of the box, but it's in pretty good shape. So what we've done in here, We've got the System 3 Plus with the five channel amp upgrade. That's because this car is coded to hi-fi. So this is your five channel amplifier. That runs the front speakers, the rear speakers, and the under seat subwoofers. Here's your bit 10D, which is your digital processor. That takes care of equalization and time alignment. And again, this should really have a H8, Hertz H8 processor in it, which kind of replaces that product, but we just haven't got around to getting it in the workshop and doing it. There's what we call the party sub, which is the JL Audio 13 inch TW5 subwoofer. It's very slim line, it's only about three inches deep and it requires only about 0.9 of a cubic foot. So a um, very compact box. Now standard system three plus with party sub, the party sub would be the preformed JL Audio enclosure, which sits really neatly in the boot right the way back and is easily detachable if you need the extra space. If you, got, if you want for the party sub, here's the amplifier we used to use, to use it. That's a Jell Audio 601, so that's an XD601. Produces 600 watts RMS into two ohms, which is the, the impedance the subwoofer's configured to. So in here, it's just designed to be very sort of unintrusive installation. It was all done in-house, as I say, three and a half years ago now, but we've colonized or colored this um, vinyl ourselves so it matches the seats because we couldn't get the um, BMW actual colours, but it's come out really well, and it stood the test of time. 
And the great thing about it is you put this down and it totally disappears and it has no effect on the base whatsoever because lots of people ask that question, if you put a supple front under here, does it affect the base? The answer is no, it doesn't. So that's the X5 pretty much taken care of. It's a cool old bit of kit, this. We really like it. Um, just to tell you about the 4 Series, which is not here at the moment, the 4 Series has a System 3 Plus. It's also coded to Hi-Fi, the same as this car, um, and doesn't currently have a party, a, a, a subwoofer, an exter a separate subwoofer, a party sub. But actually Dave's decided when we return to work, he's going to install the party sub in there. So that will probably have a Jail Audio 10 inch, because we're going to get that out underneath the floor pan. Now when we do that, we're going to make some changes to this demo car. So we're going to replace the iDrive with a later iDrive, recode that, um, and then we will change this to optical and we'll install the Audison DMI so we'll take this hi-fi to the next level. The reason why we've got it set to analog at the moment is because we want it to be a fair demonstration so we don't want you to come along with your analog based car, play with an optical based car, a digital car or digital output edge in it and then tell you it's going to sound the same because it's not and it wouldn't be fair so that's why we keep these analog. So in the near future as soon as we get back this will have the later I drive be coded to um, HK as opposed to Hi-Fi, then we'll have the System 3 Plus with a party sub completely switchable in a 4 series running analog and we'll have the same thing in this running digital so you can hear the difference between the two so that's a really great thing that we'll be able to offer. Um, the next thing in my car is the Muddy, our famous Defender. Um, we have shot a little video of this in the past, um, probably got a bit carried away with that actually it up but um, it's a cool bit of kit we've made some more modifications to it since we shot the last video although I have to be honest you know it's a work in progress there's still stuff that we need to do to it it's still stuff that needs to be finished off but customers cars are the priority and we're pretty busy with customers cars um, just not this week so some of the extra stuff we've added to Muddy which is a 4.6 V8 Defender um, here's the rear rollover bar which was custom because it used to be a complete roll cage when we first got it, we chopped it down, changed it around. And we've put in here the um, uh, Utility 45 laser rear work lights. They're incredible bits of kit. They have a five year warranty, they're very low current draw, very high light output, very wide um, dispersion of light, which is you know, great for a work light. So they can be used on not just defenders, but work vans and stuff like that. They're great for throwing a lot of area around the back of a, a lot of light around the back of a vehicle. And to complement that, on the front here, we've fitted the new laser Linear 48. It's an absolutely stunning light. I'm in love with it. We had to have one. As soon as I released, we had to have one to get on muddy here. And this is the bracket, which is supplied by laser, which is also very nice, because it means you haven't got to have a front roll cage. Um, you can literally just mount it straight on lip. It will fit other vehicles too. It's not just for a Defender. So 48 really high-powered LEDs in there, and again, built with the normal laser quality, all built in the UK. Um, it comes with a five year warranty again. It's an extremely powerful, extremely reliable light. Awesome bit of kit. As you can see, the Defender's pretty awesome as well. It really pops in this light. It's a Land Rover color. Um, this has been with us since 2011. We bought it looking similar to this. Um, it was on a galvanized chassis done an awful lot of off-roading in it, put a different engine in it, different transfer box, changed the suspension, re-geared the diffs. Uh, we've done loads and loads of stuff to it, absolutely smashed it to pieces. So a few, few people have said, you know, it's just a trophy truck and that it's um, never seen any mud. That's absolutely not the case. This thing has been sunk, rolled over, put on its side. Um, I've been everywhere in it. Um, it. It's an awesome, very, very capable bit of kit. But about three years ago, four years ago, we decided we didn't want to off-road it anymore and that as a project, we'd rebuild it. So that's what we've done and um, that's a finished article. It's pretty cool as you can see. Um, I'll show you some of the equipment inside it. So it's got Recaro's, custom Recaro's. So we bought a new set of Recaro's, ripped the lever off and then had this custom trim job done. It's done by B Trim in Enfield, fantastic guys. Um, really, really clever lads there. Um, they come up with this stitch concept and um, that was all done by them and then installed by us obviously. It's also got you know an Alcantara headlining, um, mud interior lighting, it's got quite a hi-fi system in here, it's got a three-way set of components so you've got a woofer in the bottom of the door to get some mid base up front, then you've got the mid-range, then you've got the tweeter, all made by Focal um, and we're using in this a JL Audio 1000 watt 5 channel amplifier to run the entire system. Um, it also runs three 10 inch JL Audio subwoofers which are in the buck firing through this aperture here which they nickname a blow through. Um, 
again, as you can see, it's a little bit of a work in progress, needs a little bit more work, but um, it's finding time to do it. In here, we've gone for Pioneer Wireless Apple CarPlay. It is our favorite unit. This is a 920, just been superseded by the 930, which we've got in stock, and we're now fitting to Defenders moving forward. Gives you wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB, Bluetooth, USB, and all the other features that you could ever want. It's a great sounding bit of kit. My favorite feature is, of course, the wireless Apple CarPlay, which is cracking. So there you go. That um, kind of gives you an idea of the three demo cars that we've got available. The fourth one, the blue four series, which I haven't got to hand to show you, but the fourth BMW is always at the showroom. S5 is generally there Tuesday through till Saturday. Um, the, G, the Defender or the E46 can be there upon request. So you just have to give us a shout, let us know that you want to come along for a demo. We'll make sure the right vehicle is there for you. Um, so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, maybe you could give us a like or follow our page. Um, we have managed to keep quite a bit of Instagram content coming. Because we knew the shutdown was coming, we held back posting quite a lot of our installs over the last couple of months. And we've been able to carry on posting sort of fresh content. So don't forget to take a little look at the Instagram. What else can I say? Stay home, stay safe, protect the NHS and save lives. Thank you very much for watching.